Um, Beautiful. I'm Sherry Rappaport and I'm with Urban Yoga in Palm Springs. Welcome and um, so nice to see you today. Before we begin, and for Andrew, I just want to dem demonstrate uh, something to do with the strap that's really nice for opening up through the heart center. So much of what we do in life is like this. I've heard it called cell phone asana. We, we look at our phone, we are on the computer, we drive, we, uh, everything is so forward that we tend to get that roundness through the back. So I'm going to stand up and demo something that you can do with a strap. You need the strap to be long enough, but it, it, it's a lovely way to open up through the chest. Just, um, I, I wanna demo this for you, so hang on. And let me make sure, okay. And my head isn't cut off. I'll stand back here. So if you have a nice long yoga strap, I'm just, I have it in half so I can kind of identify where the middle is. I'm gonna take that strap, and this is really important, I'm gonna snuggle it way up under my armpits. And also, not don't let it hang down here and then pull it up. Cut a way up to, uh, up, uh, you know, even across the back, under way snuggled under the armpits. That's where we begin. And then carefully, I just take each side and bring it over my shoulder. And while you're doing this, it may, it might, it might slip down. So make sure again, really snuggled up and it's over each shoulder. Then I'm going to cross the straps and just watch this. As I cross the straps and bring them forward, I have really nice posture. It really, from here to here. Can you kind of feel that? So this is a really nice thing. If, it, if the strap's long enough, you could actually buckle it and do some stuff around the house. So I'm gonna demo here closer to the camera. This is it. It looks a little bit like Bondage, I don't know, a little, bit <laughs> a little bit wacky, but this is a really nice way to, it just absolutely pulls the shoulders up, back and down and gives you nice support. So a little something to do for opening up through the heart center. Thanks for letting me demo that. And maybe you'll find that helpful sometime. So we're gonna begin the yoga practice now. We'll take a comfortable seat to begin. And maybe that's cross leg, normal sukhasana, I'll demo. And I'm sitting up on a block because I don't have the most open hips. That's just my anatomy. So by sitting on a block, that allows my pelvis to tilt a little bit to get working towards my hips to be higher than the knees, which allows for a nice long spine. So you can choose cross leg, that's one option. More comfortable for me and maybe for you is sitting in hero's pose. And I'll demo from the side. I'm sitting back on my heels and I've got a block under my buttocks. And for me, that's really comfortable. Find your comfortable seated position. So it, 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 if it's um, really, really challenging, you can even have your back against the wall and legs straight out. So we're going to start yoga by doing a little grounding, a little coming to the mat and, and the, you know, recognizing that we're setting aside this time for wellness, self-care, and to come together in community to practice and support each other. So find your comfortable seat. You can pull the flesh away from the sit bones, get nicely grounded here. You can roll the shoulders up, back and down, and maybe notice again that opening through the heart center. The arms and hands are completely relaxed, hands resting in the lap. You can have palms facing up, or palms facing down. Find your comfort and ease. Again, the arms and hands completely relaxed. You don't need to grip anything. Notice how the head rests beautifully over the spine. Maybe you tend to jet your chin out. Go ahead and tuck it in a little bit because you want to feel nice and long through the back of the neck. 
And this is our beautiful seat as we begin to take our place on the mat to practice some self care. We can begin with a couple of cleansing breaths, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, through the side. Cleansing breath. And now settle into the natural breath, the gentle inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Maybe you close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. Dive inside. We'll take a few moments. Breathing. Focuses on just the inhale. Just the exhale. Let the past and the future melt away. Thoughts will come. What our busy mind does, we can just let those thoughts be like vapor. They come and go and return the attention to the breath. Let's sit for a little bit like that. Beautiful. And now we'll bring hands together in prayer position at the heart center. This is called Anjali Mudra. Perhaps you'd like to set an intention for your practice. Maybe choose an affirmation for yourself. This is your practice. This morning, uh, this afternoon, I'm feeling a lot of gratitude for being here for the beautiful practice of yoga. So I'm going to practice gratitude. Lower the hands, if your eyes will close, blink open the eyes, and we'll begin just some gentle movements with the breath. The first one is inhaling the arms up and overhead, look up. On the exhale, the palms face out, the arms come down, look down, and continue that with your breath. Yeah. If you've got a sore shoulder and the arm overhead, it's not advisable. You can do it with the arm that's okay. Yeah, take care of yourself always. And breathe. You know, I like to say inhale deeply, exhale completely. Next time the arms come overhead, leave them there, and we'll take little side bends. So bring one hand down to the mat, the other arms over the ear. You can pulse, or you can hold in stillness. You do you. See what you need this morning. And I like to say, as we take a side bend, don't collapse through that bendy side of the waist. Activate a little muscle action in the, in the, in the waist, in the obliques to support the stretch on the other side. On the inhale, come on back to center and we'll go to the other side. You can pulse, you can hold in stillness, you breathe. Beautiful, bring the arms back overhead. You can bring your hands into prayer, bring them down the midline of the body and let them rest at the heart and take a cleansing breath, right? And release. Beautiful. We'll come into a twist right from here. So I'm bringing my left hand across the body to the outer right thigh. So bring your hand across to the opposite thigh, the outer thigh, and bring your hand behind you with the tailbone ends. The hand stays close to the body so you're not leaning back. You're staying nice and tall and take a twist over the shoulder and breathe. Taking a little time and maybe. As you're here, you can experience on the inhale, spine, the torso gets a little longer. And on the exhale, maybe you rotate a tiny bit more. Mm 
We'll bring our face back to center and then come out of the twist. Nice. Let's go to the other side. The other hand comes to the outer thigh. Hand behind you, right close to the body, and look over the shoulder and breathe. Gentle, gentle. Bring the face back to center, come out of the twist. Nice. Let's do something for the heart opening that's not hard on the shoulders. Bring your arms into cactus arms. And in cactus arms, is that 90 degree here bend in the elbow, but the triceps are parallel to the ground. So not here, here, but here. There we go. Cactus arms, we're in the desert. On an inhale, just kind of squeeze the shoulder blades as you bring your heart center up towards the ceiling, maybe right where the ceiling and the wall meet and breathe. Feel that opening through the chest. Bring yourself back to center, lower the arms, beautiful. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, and take a cleansing breath. Nice. Okay, let's come into the tabletop. We'll get ready for cat and cow. So I'm going to demo the tabletop and I'll get some cues for good alignment in the tabletop. So it looks like this. And my knees are right under the hips. My hands are right under the shoulders. And I'm looking, look at your hands, the four fingers point forward. Finally, the triceps roll in so that those elbow creases are pointing forward. That's tabletop. And to be a little bit more specific here, my gaze is in the, in the tabletop, in the static tabletop. My gaze is in front of the hands in the center of the mat, so my head's not here or here. Of course, if you need to look at me, that's good. But when you come back, the gaze is in front of the hands in the center of the mat. We'll begin cat and cow. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round the spine, look to the legs. And this is how we begin to warm up the spine, a gentle rocking motion. I like to say the vertebrae are undulating like waves and following. Continue cat and cow, we're gonna have a look at the screen. Keep going with your breath, yeah. So we have a nice steady base. The legs are, are, st are steady and, and solid. The arms, there's no movement in the arms. It's just the spine rocking like a wave and the head following. And now coming to the cow, the belly's hanging down and looking up. And take a few breaths here just to explore this shape, just to feel the shape. And now come into the cat, like the Halloween cat, arching the back and looking through the legs. Take a few breaths here, exploring that shape. And now continue the, the movement with the cat and cow back and forth with the breath. Beautiful. Come back to center, back to neutral, flat back in the tabletop, and we'll do a uh, thread the needle for the outer shoulder. So uh, I will demo it. I'm going to bring my right hand to the very center of the mat in front of my face. On the inhale, I'm going to sweep the left arm up, and we'll take a little time here in this open pose, breathing into the left lung, open pose. Exhale, we're going to come on down and thread the needle, bringing my left arm through, coming to the outer left shoulder. Then bring my head down to the mat, and my hips are coming into center. I'm resting my left arm and resting my head and breathe. Just stay in that pose for a little bit. Breathe deeply into the belly. Nice. 
On the next inhale, press into your right hand and sweep the left arm up again. And lower down. Take a cleansing breath. We'll go to the other side. So the left hand comes to the center of the mat, right in front of the face. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and look at your hand. Exhale, thread the needle coming onto the outer right shoulder, resting the arm, resting the head, hips coming to center. So make sure you feel like the outer hips pressing in towards each other so that one hip doesn't splay out. And breathe. Press into your hand here, lift the right arm up again, and lower down, beautiful. From the tabletop, we'll get into warming up the back of the legs a little bit. Straighten the right leg long on the mat, the toes are tucked, foot is flexed. Pressing into the hands, push back until you feel a cat stretch on the right leg. Just like that. And notice my head is in line with the spine, I'm not here, here. Breathe, feel that nice long line of energy from the crown of the head to the back of the right heel. Nice. On the next inhale, lift your right foot up off the mat and my leg is right out from the hip, I hope it is, toes pointing down. So not too high, not too low, right in line with the hip. Breathe. Take a moment here, and again, the toes are pointing down, not pointing the toes, the foot is flexed. Feeling the energy emanating from the back of the right foot. And now we'll just go ahead and swing the right leg out to the right. Here, my foot is laid still lifted. I'm going to lower my right foot down, sole of my foot is sealed down, and the toes are pointing forward. So I'm not on the, on the edge of my foot, all the way down. Sweet and sweep the right arm up, taking an open twist. I'll be demoing this from the other side to see, see me from the other side. Lower the hand down. Bring your right leg across the body to the left, all the way. Let it go all the way. Let the toes land, foot flex. Look over your left shoulder to um, that's your right foot. Nice long side body stretch. Right leg back to center, lower the knee down. Enjoy another few cat and cow to your recently. And back to center. We'll go to the other side, straighten the left leg, toes tucked, foot flexed. Press into the hands and push back, calf stretch on the left. Connect to the breath. Inhale, the left foot up off the mat, taking a moment here. We're using core muscles to keep that leg lifted. I'll be demoing this from the other side. So swing your left leg out to the left. My foot is still up, using the core muscles. I'm lowering the foot down and see the whole sole of the foot sealed down. My toes are pointing forward. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Then we're trying to return and stack the shoulders here. Nice open pose. Three. Lower the left hand down. Swinging that left leg over to the right all the way. Let go. Toes land, look over the right shoulder to left foot, breathe.
bring the leg back to center, lower the knee down, and come into child's pose. So then what for a moment, knees wide, big toes touch. I walk my fingers, tips, back, so my buttocks comes back, toes and heels. Then I crawl my hands forward with a long side body, resting the forehead, resting the forearms, a gentle child's pose. Breathing deeply into the belly. Bring the hands under the shoulders to bring yourself up. And we're going to come up onto the knees like this. I call it standing on the knees. And tuck the toes under. So the toes are, uh, the feet are like little kickstands. Support there. Got it? Beautiful. And I'm going to demo this from the side. I'm going to say, bring the lower ribs in. You can do this to yourself. Bring the lower ribs in. And feel the tailbone drop. I'm doing this and this. Beautiful. That's how we're keeping that tailbone dropping. And we're nice and smooth here across the hip flexors. No sway back. Boom, boom. Beautiful. And I'll continue to demo from the side. Another heart opener. It's time to bring the hands to the back like you're putting your hands in your jean pocket. Squeeze the elbows together a little bit. But we're going to do that thing of opening up the chest from the heart center towards the ceiling or where the ceiling and the wall meet. Again, three. And uh, keeping in mind, keep those lower ribs in and your tailbone dropping so we don't go straight back. The, the back bend is from the heart, not the pelvis. We're doing a lot of heart openers so far. Demo with the strap and back to center, lower the arms, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and take a cleansing breath. Beautiful. I'm just going to turn around, but we're going to continue to stay up on the knees. I'm going to just switch my blanket around. Still up here. Bring your right leg out from the hip. The toes point forward, and the whole sole of the foot is sealed down. And right now, my hips kind of splayed out. That right hip is up. Imagine that your hip bones are like the headlights of the car, and bring them into center. Yeah. Rest the right arm. It doesn't need to do a thing. Just relax it. But inhale the left arm up. And take a little bend towards the right. And as we lengthen through the left, can we activate the muscles on the right a little bit so that we're not collapsing, right? So we're coming up and out of both sides of the waist. So up and over. Beautiful. The, the left arm is going to come on down to the mat, right under the shoulder. Bring the right arm up. Here we are, lovely. And maybe lift your right foot. It's optional. Lower the foot, lower the arm, press into the hands, bring the knees back together. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, and take a cleansing breath. Nice. Other side. Left leg right out from the hip, toes pointing forward at the full sole of the foot seal down, so not on the edge of the foot. Boom. Bring your hips into center. This time, <clears throat> left arm gets a break. <clears throat> Doesn't need to do a thing. Rest that left arm in hand. Inhale the right arm over the ear, taking that bend towards the left. And here, and I'm talking to myself, relax the shoulders down. So I might shoulders tend to bunch up. Relax the shoulders. Now we explore effort and ease, holding those opposites. Maybe we have some effort here, but maybe we can find ease, by softening the face, releasing the jaw, 
and jaw and um, connecting to the breath. So we exhale, the right hand down, right under the shoulder. Bring the left arm up, the palm is facing spring, and maybe lift the left leg. And maybe it's easier on the side. It is for me because I'm right side dominant. Yeah, just notice, we're not perfectly symmetrical, all good. Just notice and be the witness. Lower the foot, lower the arm, bring your left knee back to center. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, and take that cleansing breath. Beautiful. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure if we did this last time, Andrew, but we'll do it now. We're going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to demo from the side. Tuck the toes. The toes should still be tucked. And if you can, sit back on the heels. You can even reach around and spread your little toes. We're going to do a little foot stretch. Beautiful. And I'm going to come back around like this. And I just want to say, we'll do it at the same time. We're going to do a little um, eagle arms for the, the back and back and shoulders. And at any time your feet have had enough, come on out and just come to the top of your feet. So right now, bring the arms right out from the shoulders, palms facing in. Straight ahead. Now cross your right arm on top of the left at the elbow. Bend the elbows and reach around palm to palm. Yeah, the arms. On an inhale, lift the arms. On the exhale, bring the arms away from the body. Breathe. Mm -hmm. If this is totally not in your practice, you can just right on top of left and give yourself a hug. That's another option. Reaching around and grabbing those shoulder blades. On the exhale, arms come wide, float the hands down, and probably by now we've had another foot stretch. So come to hands and knees, come to the top of your feet, and tap out the top of your feet. Hallelujah. Now we'll sit back on the heels, but on the top of the feet. We're not tucking the toes anymore. Maybe that's in your practice. Mm -hmm. Arms straight out in front, palms facing in. This time we cross the left on top of the right at the elbow, bend the elbows, reach around, try to reach palm to palm, or your version of inhale, lift the elbows, exhale, arms come away from the body and breathe. Eagle arms. Maybe cleansing breath feels good. Release the arms, hands come wide, lift the arms down. Yeah. Okay, we'll get into some lower body now. Coming back to the tabletop. Go ahead and press it. Uh, get, get your hands positioned where they're under the shoulders, four fingers forward, triceps rolled in. Tuck the toes. Let's try a down dog. Press the hips back. Lift the hips up into downward facing dog. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of the alignment here in down dog. The feet are hips distance apart. You can have a bend in the knees and you can have heels lifted. Okay, let's pay attention to the upper body. Again, the four fingers are pointed forward, triceps are rolled in, and we're pressing under the bones of the forefinger and thumb. That's where the emphasis is. That's where we're pressing more. Head is relaxed. Or don't need to do anything with the head. And breathe. This is our down dog. We're kind of working towards the, imagining the six bones reaching for the ceiling. And breathe. Beautiful. Some people, and I'll demo, enjoy bending one knee and the other pedaling out the feet. For me in the practice, bringing the back of the leg to warm up. Or you can hold the instincts. <clears throat> Beautiful. On the next inhale, lift the right leg up and bend the knee. 
step or assist your right foot to the top of the mat and lower the left knee down. <clears throat> this is low lunge. Yeah, so you can pick up the back knee and scooch it back a little bit. Want to make sure that the right knee is safely over the ankle. Maybe your hands are on blocks. That's a okay. Notice the tailbone's dropping, the side body's long, the chest is coming forward. Pressing firmly into the front foot. <clears throat> and we're gonna get into the hamstrings right now. So walk your right foot forward, couple of inches, and then come onto the heel, bring your toes back towards the face, Bring the hips into center. It's okay to have the knee bent. This is called a half split. Maybe you're feeling it right here in the hamstring. Gentle. While we're stretching the hamstring, can you activate the muscle in the front of the thigh a little bit for balance so we don't overstretch? And breathe. Beautiful. Lower the sole of the foot down and step the foot back so that the knee is right over the ankle. Maybe your hands, you have a block, or your hands on the mat. The left hand stays under the shoulder. Sweep your right arm up. Take a little twist to the right. Lower the arm down. You can heel toe. Step your right knee back to meet the left. Take a breath. And we'll go to the other side. Bring the left foot forward. Make sure your knee's over the ankle. You can pick up your right knee and scooch it back a little bit. Low lunge. Taking a little time to feel the tailbone dropping and the heart center coming forward. Breathe. And when you're ready, inch your left foot forward, flex the foot, bringing the toes towards the face, and feel your hips coming into center, outer hips energetically moving in. Lower the left foot down, step the foot back in line with the knee, the knee over the ankle. Maybe your right hand stays down on the mat or on a block, right under your shoulder. Sweep the left arm up, taking a little twist. And if there's no left arm up, just go ahead, put your hand on your waist and just twist. Your arm. Lower the arm down, hands to the mat, heel toe your foot towards the edge of the mat, bring the knees back together. Take a few cat and cows here to reset. Back to the flat back, neutral spine, tabletop, tuck the toes, press the hips back, lift the hips up, let's try it down dog again. Breathe. Maybe you're feeling a little more opening through the back of the legs. Again, the head's relaxed. Triceps rolled in, pressing under the bones of the forefinger and thumb. Good. Go ahead, bend the knees deeply. Look forward. Walk or step your feet to the top of the mat. Maybe it's several steps, right? We're at the top of the mat in the forward fold. The alignment for forward fold, the feet are hips distance apart. Have a micro bend or more in the knees to not lock out those knee joints. Activate the front of the thighs. I sometimes say pull up on the front of the thighs. Hands can be on blocks. Hands, hands hanging. 
We have active leg through the front of the legs while we're stretching through the back of the legs. Forward fold. And forward folds are known to be calming to the body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Breathe. <clears throat> Beautiful, and we're gonna go big here. So from here, we're gonna come into chair pose. On the inhale, sit your buttocks back in the chair as you lift your arms up by your ears, palms facing in, holy cow, yeah. And maybe you want, maybe it's one arm. Maybe it feels okay to do cactus arms, you know? But we're really, we're working on the thunder thighs here. It's okay to stick the buttocks out a little bit because in that way we're activating the muscles in the front and the back of the thighs, more balance. On the next inhale, press into your feet, come up to rise. Take a little back bend from the heart center. Bring the torso back to center, hands in prayer down the midline. Release the arms. Come into Tadasana for a moment. So the arms are down by the side. There's a micro bend in the knees, a little, a little buoyancy there, activating the front of the thighs. Here again, we bring the lower ribs in and feel the tailbone drop with that release in the lower back. Feel long through the side body. Shoulders back and down, palms forward. Hands resting over the spine. You can close your eyes. This is our beautiful mountain pose, Tadasana. Feeling the heart beating in the chest. It's a fabulous thing. Here we can feed our, feel our feet rooting into the earth, all four corners of the feet at the base of the mountain, rooting. And from the crown of the head, we feel that cosmic energy rising. We're rooting and rising. We're taking our place on the earth. We are here. Beautiful. Release the hands, blink open the eyes. And we'll come to a couple of standing poses. From standing, we'll go to um, warrior one, your Vidrasana one first. Bring your right foot to the top of the mat a couple of inches from the right side, right? There it is. Heel toe, or take some steps with your left foot back till you have a comfortable stride. And notice that your left foot is close to the left edge of the mat. So there's some space between the legs. And my left foot is on an angle. Bend into the right knee, settling the knee over the ankle. Those hips are pointed towards the bent knee. We're almost there. Maybe you sweep the arms up. Maybe arms are in cactus arms. Maybe that's more comfortable, yeah. And with the cactus arms, you can feel a nice opening through the chest. This is warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. <clears throat> Notice your feet. They feel like a nice stable base so that you can have your hips forward and your torso upright. I'm gonna bring my arms back up. With the arms overhead here, make sure your shoulders are relaxed and down. Warrior one, and breathe. Holding for a little bit, feeling your feet on the earth. It's simple, simple warrior. In fact, we can take humble warriors. So go ahead and lower the arms down. Intertwine your hands behind the back. On an inhale, shine your heart up a little bit. On an exhale, can you take a forward fold over that bent knee? You keep the hands close to the body, or maybe they come away. So we are we're doing that heart opening here. Really supporting our, uh, our weight legs, good for the bones. On the inhale, come back up, and maybe that's pressing into your front foot with a lot of energy coming back up. 
Maybe it's using your hands on your thigh to walk yourself back up. Exhale the arms down from wherever they are. Heel toe or step your left foot to the top of the mat. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Enjoy a cleansing breath. And we'll go to the other side. I'll demo from over here. <clears throat> so the left foot is at the top of the mat, near the left edge of the mat. The right foot is stepping back or heel toe back so you have a comfortable stride. It's more towards the right edge of the mat. And my foot is on an angle. I'm gonna bend into the left knee and I can see in the computer that my knee safely over the ankle. Hips are pointed towards the bent leg. Arms either cactus arms or overhead. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, on the other side. And breathe. And always having to remind myself let those shoulders relax. So as the arms and hands reach, I can imagine someone's lightly putting their hands on lowering my shoulders down. And sometimes I like to lift and lower the toes, really grabbing the sticky mat with my toes. Let's take that humble warrior. So the arms come down, intertwine the hands. Maybe this time the other thumb is on top. A little bit switching it up. Inhale, shine the heart up like that. Exhale, take it forward, fold over the bent knee, over the bent leg. Maybe the side feels different. On the inhale, come on back up. And here I'm going to demo using my hands to walk myself back up. Warrior one. Exhale the arms down. Heel toe or step the right foot to the top of the mat to meet the left. Nice. I'm going to come over to the other side so that I can demo from my open body. We're going to come into warrior two from standing, super simple. Right foot to the very center of the mat, the top of the mat. In warrior two, our legs are going to be in alignment. So right foot in the center of the mat, top of the mat, heel toe or step your left foot back. And this time, my left foot, the toes are pointing towards the long edge of the mat. And my left arch is in the very center of the mat, like my right heel. So I have heel to arch alignment. The legs are in alignment, warrior two. Bend into the right knee. And now I'm going to bring my hips forward here towards the open part of the body. And that's why my legs are in alignment. So I can have my hips pointing towards the open part of my body. Arms come out from the shoulders, palms facing down. Look out over your right hand. And boy, there it is, the iconic warrior two. Vera Vadrasana two. And breathe. Often need to check my back arm, it can be lost in space. Arms right out from the shoulders. Warrior two. Very nice. We're going to come into reverse warrior. Let the left arm relax down. Flip. The right palm up, and on an inhale, bring your right arm over the ear, still bending into the right knee, taking a nice side stretch here, and activating a little muscle action here in the left oblique. On the inhale, bring yourself back up to reestablish warrior two. And breathe. And the next inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bring your right side body out over the right leg. Bring your right arm down, left arm up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Roll the right hip under it to open the chest up more towards the ceiling. Triangle pose. 
You can look at the right, the left hand. You can look straight ahead. You can look down at the floor. All of it. On the inhale, bring yourself back up and come back into warrior two, bending back into the right knee, looking up to the hand. Breathe. Lower the arms, straighten the right leg. And go ahead and heel toe. We'll get you back to the top of the mat. Heel toe or step the left foot forward, coming to the top of the mat. Beautiful. I'm going to go to the other side so you can see my open part of my body. Warrior two on the left side, left foot to the very center of the mat at the top of the mat. Step or heel toe. Your right leg back, find heel to arch alignment, bend into the left knee, swing those hips, just kind of oh, give them a little hug towards the front, left uh, the arms out from the shoulders, palms facing down, look out over the left hand, and breathe. Next inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, the side body out over the leg. Take the triangle. Go back into do a warrior, do a reverse warrior. Inhale, come back up, come into warrior two again. Lower the right arm, flip the left palm. Inhale the arm over the ear. Yeah, and if there's no lifting that left arm, keep your left hand on the waist and just lean up and out. And inhale back to the warrior two. And exhale, windmill the hands down, the frame the front foot, step back into the down dog. And breathe. I'm saying, let's come into pigeon pose. So I'm going to demo pigeon using a blanket for a little support in the middle of my hips. Inhale, the right leg up and back, bend the knee, and we're going to bring the right knee to the right wrist as you bring your body down. Boom. I'm going to use that blanket under my right hip to keep my hips even. Work your left leg back, lengthen it out from the hip, straight back, and maybe your right shin works towards parallel to the front of the mat. Keep the right foot flexed. Take a moment in the upright pigeon to let things settle right here. Again, work that back leg, the left leg back. Make it long, make sure it's in line with the hip. Keep the right foot flexed to protect the knee. When you're ready with a nice long side body, come on down. You can stack the hands, rest the forehead, and take a little time to rest in the pigeon, keeping our hips to low. Breathe. And as we spend a little time here, maybe you can imagine, maybe you can experience on the inhale, the torso getting a little longer. On an exhale, folding a little deeper into the pose. Maybe that happens. Settling into the pigeon.
Beautiful. And the next inhale, press into your hands to bring yourself up. Tuck the back toes under and bring your right leg up and back behind into a three-legged dog. Three-legged dog, the hips are even, the toes are pointing down, and we're pressing even with the inhale. Yes. Beautiful. Go ahead and lower the right foot down. Breath. We'll go to pigeon on the other side, left leg up and back behind, bend the knee, and the left knee is coming to the left wrist as so you bring the body down. Again, I'll, I'll talk about lengthening through the right leg. Look back and make sure it's in line with the hip. Working the left shin more towards parallel to the front of the mat, taking a little time in the upright pigeon. Spoke of switching the right leg back and switching the left shin forward, keeping the left. Maybe it feels different on the side. Just notice. And now with a nice long torso, come on down, resting on the stacked palms, breathing, sending the breath into the hip. Breathe. Beautiful. Press into your hands to bring yourself up. And go ahead and just swing your right leg forward. Maybe you have your hand to assist. Boom. Straighten out your legs. Boom. Lovely. We're going to come on down to the back. We're beginning to wind down the practice. I like to use a folded blanket under my neck for the next support. So that there's no big gap. You're going to lay down so chunky is cozy. It's buoyant. So coming on to the back. And bring the knees into the chest. Hands on the kneecaps. You can rock from side to side. You can make circles with the knees like this. And I'm such a nerd, I'm going to offer you can circle the knees like this. They're going in opposite directions and maybe getting some synovial flow, uh, synovial fluid into the hips. The um, you know giving giving some lubricating the hips. By doing this. And if you're doing circles, always reverse. This is lower back release and self massage. Knees wide, bring them in towards the armpits, getting the lower back nice and flat on the mat. And when you feel complete with that, go ahead and just bring the knees deeply into the chest. We'll take a couple of simple twists. With the left hand to the outside of the right knee, let both knees land to the left. It's in your practice, the right arm is right out from the shoulder, palm facing down. And here, this left hand is a nice assist in your twist. You can look up at the ceiling or you can look out at the right hand if you want to get your neck involved. And breathe, we're winding down, coming to the end of the practice, getting ready for Shavasana. The beautiful work we've done. Bring both knees back to center and maybe with the right hand to the outside of the left knee, assist both knees to the right. Left arm out from the shoulder, palm facing down. If that's in your practice, if that's comfortable, you can even do cactus arms on the left side with the palm facing up. Maybe that comes just down by your side. Mm -hmm. 
And now bring both knees back to center. With your knees deeply into the chest, wrap your arms around your legs. And on the inhale, bring your forehead up to the knees, giving your body a hug. Oh, with gratitude, that this precious vessel gets us through the day, our body. Exhale, let it go. Coming into Shavasana, that's corpse pose. So the legs come out, they're splayed open, you can flap the feet. You can roll the shoulder blades under. Sometimes bring my hands here to the waist and then I pull them down the buttocks to keep that lower back nicely grounded. Long spacing up is nice for me. Maybe rock the head from side to side. Find comfort, get cozy. Get ready to do nothing. You can just come up here and maybe a little bit of relaxation cues. Soften the toes and the feet and the ankles. Relax the calves and the shins. Front of the knees and the back of the knees and bone. Relax the thighs. Big thigh muscles, let them go. Soften through the belly and the butt. Send love to the lower back. Oops. Relax through the torso and even the internal organs. Put them on. Relax through the rib cage and the mid back, chest, upper back. Soften the shoulders. Notice how the arms are just heavy, supported by the earth. Relax your fingers. Soften through the jaw, the throat, tongue. Go up to the crown of your head and let that be easy. Relax. Ears. Cheeks. Let the brain just float up into the sky. Rest peacefully in Shavasana for a few minutes until I call you back. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently begin to deepen the breath. Explore some tiny movements like wiggling the fingers, the toes, wiggling the ears. And when you're ready, roll to one side, come to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing together today. The light in me sees and knows the light in you, not us. Thanks for being here.